Hey there everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 30 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time we did that big bitch right there, that big spiky bitch, the Snowhead Temple, and we claimed our bigger magic meter from it. So, that's good. Now, uh, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and continue and do what we can after we have after beating Gott there. You know, Gott, the big goat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and warp away with that magic jar above my head. I'm not gonna give it a chance to get me. It's chasing me. It's hunting me down. Uh, it's stalking me. But no, I'm just gonna go to the mountain village. And it just disappears. That's great. Alright. So, now that it is springtime in the mountains here, even though there's still some snow, I guess there's always some snow in springtime. That's what I like about spring is that it's just not completely summer, so it's not like all hot, it's just refreshing. It's so awesome. But now that we now that spring is done, what has changed around here? Well, as you can see, there's grass and other stuff. So that's nice. Uh, did we ever go in here? Is there something in here? What? I don't remember this place. What the heck is going on? Where does this even go? Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! No! Go away! <laughs> wow. Oh, one left. Just like one that's obnoxious enough to stay around after the Goron Pound. I don't remember this. What the hell? Where am I going? What? What just happened? I just... Okay, was that always there? Or was that blocked by snow earlier? Uh, oh, that's cool. Look at that. Look at that red column of, of heat just going around it there. I hope that bird flies into it and dies a painful death. I never knew about that. That's crazy. Alright. Ah! <laughs> I landed on top of something there. I don't know what it was, but just completely destroyed it. Okay, so now that we have all this done, or what does that even mean? Now that we have all this done, all what? I guess now that we have the Snowhead Temple done, we can go around exploring. We never actually went up here. I didn't show this. Probably should have, but we couldn't have done much up here anyways. Alright, here- oh look, the baby Goron's up here. Ah, Darmy! Now that it's nice and warm out, it's much better, hee <laughs> hee Even if my daddy isn't right beside me, I won't be selfish and cry. So now that spring has come. Oh, I thought that said spring has came. I'm like, dude, no. Grammar dictates otherwise. The Goron races should be starting soon. But. But this rock is in the way. Now I can't get to see the race. Damn it. And spring's just started, too. I was so excited, but there's nothing I can do. No! No! <laughs> Stop it! Uh, I want to see it! I want to see it! I want to see the race! Oh, okay. You just stopped crying as soon as I start stopped talking to you. That makes sense. But yeah, as you can see, there's this giant boulder in the way. Ah, uh, where are the silver gauntlets when you need them? But knowing the Goron, he would probably just crush them by trying to put them on his hands. Gosh. Alright, so, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that that we know of right now. There's actually still something you can do about that, though. Hey, oh, go away, Wolfos. Get your face out of my place. Okay. So, just keep on rolling along here. Now, this is actually quite a bit more dangerous as a Goron because the ice became water, so you could just, like, fall off the edge of one of these platforms or the bridges and completely drown, and that wouldn't be fun at all. Okay, um, I forget exactly what I can do now. Let's go ahead and check out the village. I mean, why not? We just spent, like, the past few videos trying to save this place. At le the least we can do is see what we've actually done here. Alright, uh, did the Elder make it back? Okay, let's check on him. You know, this is just the kind of thing that I like to do. Yeah, see, he did make it back. This is awesome. Oh, Darmani, I've been waiting impatiently for you. I have been waiting for your arrival ever since I heard the news. I had heard that you, the one whom I thought would once to be dead, had sealed off the blizzard that was blowing from Snowhead. No, I just killed a goat. Thanks to you, spring has come to Goron Village. Everyone is pleased. The greatest Goron hero of all, that's... Darmani! The immortal Goron who is not dead, even if he has died, that's... Darmani! The star whom we wish upon, that's... 
Darmani! Darmon, greatest of Gorons! Greatest of Gorons! Darmani is the greatest in the world! Greatest in the world! My son got better immediately. He went back to see the Gorm races that celebrate spring. This time, I, I, the protector of the tribe for so many years, choose to yield the seat of tribal patriarch to, the, to a younger son, to a younger one. The Gorn who makes calm decisions, yet boasts courageous determination, and can take care of all that shall be shall be the patriarch, the chosen one, Darmani, is you. There could be no other. <gasps> what? I'm the patriarch now? Cool. What do you think? If it's you, everyone will be happily will, would happily accept you as the patriarch. What? You need not you need not answer so quickly. Go to the go enter the Goron race. Think of over slowly. I am awaiting a thoughtful response. Wow, that was just awesome. That was an awesome set of cheers, you guys. You guys rock. You're my cheerleader squad. Stop targeting them. Thank you. That was cool. I don't think I've ever seen that scene before. Maybe I have. But I guess those are the that's the, that's our reward for beating Gaut in the Snowhead Temple and everything. Okay. Uh, how far are we in? Six minutes in already? We should actually do something with this with this video, do you think? Nah. Are we going to make another pointless episode? I don't think so. I'm going to make this video as long as I want until I do something productive. Okay. Uh, why are there just a bunch of random jumps there? Is that just to impede my progress? It's a speed bump, isn't it? That's probably actually what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, now you can head over here. Do you remember this cave? I don't, but it was frozen over earlier. And now, inside, here's the Goron Powder Keg Shop. New customers will be tested on proper usage, the shopkeeper. Well, let's go ahead and... Fine. I won't be a Goron. I'll just climb up as a little... De Deku? Link's not a Deku, he's a man. He's a human being. Okay. Oh, hello, Medi Goron. Nice to see you around. Okay. Nice goatee, bro. I'm the Goron who sells powder keg. Who sells the powder keg? The most famous product of the Gorons. Want a powder keg? I thought bombs would be the most famous product of the Gorons, you know? Because don't they, like, cultivate those and then they actually mass produce them or something? I don't know. Powder kegs explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I have tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Will you give it a try? Uh, sure. Sounds kind of interesting. Is he going to make a really big boom so I can do an epic meme of mine. If you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here, using the powder keg I'm about to give you, then I'll prove you to carry them. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. You can just hit the ground and one will fall in front of my face. When the powder keg begins ticking faster, it means that it's about to explode. Try to blow up the boulder blocking the Goron racetrack entrance without the powder keg exploding on the way. There's a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it. When you've finished, come see me. Alright, so let's not waste any time. Just no, I don't want to talk. I, I want to grab this. Okay, so you can't roll while carrying this, obviously. You can just throw it and stuff. So, that's basically what you're going to have to do is continually just walk with it and then throw it until you reach the Goron racetrack. It's really not that hard because, as you can see, its fuse is longer than something. I don't know. It's longer than a rope snake, we'll say that. Okay. So, now it's just... A very tedious thing of walking. I don't think I'm gonna speed it up this time like I did with the rock sirloin though, because I don't know. This one's not as far, and it's actually kind of interesting. Oh, you know what's awesome? I just noticed the skull and crossbones on the powder keg. It's like a Goron skull and crossbones. I never noticed that. I thought it was just some weird demented thing, but I, now I recognize that's actually a Goron. How didn't I notice that before? That's that's just sweet. Golden skull and crossbones, who'd have thought? That leads me to wonder. Are Goron bones made of gold? Hmm. Someone go dissect a Goron for me and find out, okay? Okay. You can tell me in the comments what your results are. Okay, so yeah. As you can see, the fuse is still pretty long, and we've already made it here. So, okay. Oh, stop curling into it! You're not trying to blow it up. Not yet, anyways. And now we've made it up here, grab it, go ahead and just set it right down next to the rock, and we're going to wait for it. We're just going to watch it tick down, and I'm just going to duck like this until it goes off. Alright, I might be speeding this up or cutting it out or something, just, yeah. Oh, I can hear it ticking faster. 
It's about to go boom. Oh my goodness. And that rock's just gonna go away. Totally. Oh, boom! Wow, that went fast. I was actually planning on saying my catchphrase there. Way to go, Darmy. That was cool. Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Come on, hurry! <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> what the hell? But he's sidewalking. He's he's doing like the he's doing like jazz hands and crosswalk and whatever else. Okay. Yeah. So welcome to the Goron racetrack. This can be kind of a bitch. We're gonna go ahead and talk to the baby here. Ah, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're gonna enter, aren't aren't you? Where did all these Gorons come from? Were they frozen in here, or did they actually like? Or were they blocked in here by the rock, or did they actually come? I don't know. Uh, am I gonna enter? I don't see why not. I think I can take these guys. You have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. That's why I just said I would. You don't have to tell me I have to. I didn't say no. You know, like no. If your magic power runs low, charge it up with the green jars on the course. All right, sounds simple enough. I guess it's just a rolling race. Here we go. Why is Darmani so much darker than the other Gorons? That's weird. Okay. And you can't actually move before it says go, but you'll cross the line and it'll like disqualify you or something. Alright, so just go ahead and charge! And beware of these other Gorons, because they can actually like hit you too and slow you down. Like, see, I'm not the only one taking damage here. I mean, they're not the only ones taking damage here. Actually, I don't think anyone's taking damage, because Gorons are as tough as stones, since they're made of stones. Haven't I said that before? Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, so just... Ow! What was that? What was that crap? No. Okay, so go through the little forest here, or, and try not to hit the trees. Wow. I'm going to lose now, aren't I? At least the music's nice. That's one thing I can say. Okay, off the jump. Off the jump. I was I was I wanted to hit the magic jar, but I guess Oh, cool. What? Oh, what just happened? Did I just take a shortcut? What? There's no way I can win now. Oh, do I want to keep racing anyway? No. Oh, there goes my more not my moral. My will, something. Remember how Remember how good you really are. Then enter races again. You're gonna race, enter, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's try that again and not fail this time. Let's try to not get blown up, anyways. Go. Sweet. All right, get go away. Don't touch me. You can knock me off course. How how did they knock me off course? I'm the one who has spikes here. No. Respect the spike! Respect the spike! Hey, what? What just happened? I have no clue. Okay. Oh, I want the magic, dude. You don't need magic. You're an NPC. You don't get magic. Okay. At least I didn't blow up this time. Or something. Get some magic refill. Ow! Ow! Go away! What? It just like, he just like rolled over me. That's no fair. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Jump, Darmani! Yeah. Look at the Gorons cheering on the posts of the bridge. That's so cool. Okay. Yes, I feel it. I feel the adrenaline coming on. Darmani, you can do it. There's just like these two up ahead, right? There's not like another one way, way far in the lead. Oh, oh. Oh, no, no, don't pass. Don't pass me, bro. That's what I thought. That's what I pro thought, brosif. Yeah. That was great. I knew you were the fastest girl on Darmy. I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. And we get a bottle of gold dust that's the finest quality available. Well, that that's great. Thanks. At least I got a bottle. What's the gold dust for, I wonder? You will find out later on. Okay, um... Is there actually anything that I want to do... Between now... That I... Okay, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm just gonna end off the episode here. We're about 15 minutes. I know there's no time limit, but still. 
Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. Uh, ow. Uh, uh, ow. Uh, and good night.